Yashwantrao Balwantrao Chavan the 12th of March 1913 to the 25th of November 1984 was the first chief minister of Maharashtra after the division of Bombay state and the fifth deputy prime minister of India He was a strong congress leader cooperative leader social activist and writer He was popularly known as leader of common people he advocated social democracy in his speeches and articles and was instrumental in establishing co-operatives in Maharashtra for the betterment of the farmers. <laughs> Early life Yashwantrao Chavan was born in a Maratha Hendra Patil family on 12 March 1913 in the village of Devrashtra in Satara district, now in Sangli district of Maharashtra, India. He lost his father in his early childhood and was brought up by his uncle and mother. His mother taught him about self-dependency and patriotism. From his childhood he was fascinated by the freedom struggle of India. Despite the adverse family situation, Chavan was an active participant in the struggle for independence of India. In 1930, he was fined for his participation in the non-cooperation movement led by Mahatma Gandhi. During this period he came in contact with Swami Ramanand Bharti, Dulapa Borao Naval, Gorihar Apasaheb, Siasane V. S. Page and Gavind Kruparam Wani. Their friendship lasted forever. In 1932, he was sentenced to 18 months in prison for hoisting the Indian flag in Satara. Chavan obtained his BA degree in History and Political Science from the then Bombay University in 1938. In this period, he was involved in many social activities and was closely associated with the Congress Party and its leaders, such as Jawaharlal Nehru, Sardar Patel and Kashav Rao Jetty. In 1940, he became president of Satara District Congress. In 1941 he passed his LLB. In 1942, he married Venutai at Fulton in Dist Satara. He was one of the delegates at the Bombay session of the AICC in 1942 that gave the call for Quit India and he was subsequently arrested for his participation in the movement. Chavan was finally released from jail in 1944. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Political career. Offices held in the state government of Bombay In 1946, he was first elected as member of Legislative Assembly of the Bombay State from the South Satara constituency. In the same year he was appointed as Parliamentary Secretary to the Home Minister of Bombay State. In the next government of Mirarji Desai he was appointed as Minister of Civil Supplies, Social Welfare and Forests. In 1953 he was a signatory to the Nagpur Pact that assured equitable development of all regions of what is now the state of Maharashtra. The 1950s witnessed the Samyukta Maharashtra Samiti United Maharashtra Movement leading struggle for United Maharashtra with Mumbai as its capital. Chavan never joined the Samyukta Maharashtra Samiti United Maharashtra Movement and in fact called Prime Minister Nehru, who opposed formation of language-based state reorganization, as greater than Maharashtra. In 1957 assembly elections Yashwantrao Chavan was elected from the Karad constituency. This time he was elected as leader of Congress Legislative Party and became chief minister of the bilingual Bombay state. The election saw the Congress party losing badly in the Marathi-speaking areas to the Samyukta Maharashtra Samiti. However, he was able to persuade Nehru to agree to form Maharashtra and therefore he is regarded as the chief architect in the formation of Marathi-speaking state of Maharashtra. On 1 May 1960, Yashwantrao Chavan became the first chief minister of Maharashtra. From 1957 to 1960 he also served on the All India Congress Working Committee. Chavan's vision for Maharashtra for the development envisaged the equal development of both the industrial and agricultural sectors across all the regions of the state. He sought to realize this vision through the cooperative movement. Legislation regarding democratic decentralized bodies and the Agricultural Land Sealing Act were passed during his tenure as chief minister. Topic: <laughs> Roles in central government. After the resignation of Krishna Menon as Defence Minister in 1962 in the wake of India-China border conflict, Yashwantrao was given that portfolio by Prime Minister Jawaharlal Nehru. 
He handled the delicate post-war situation firmly and took several decisions to empower the armed forces and negotiated, along with Pandit Nehru, with China to end the hostilities. He also held the defense portfolio in the Lal Bahadur Shastri government during the Indo-Pakistan War of September 1965. In the by-elections in 1962, Chavan was elected unopposed as Member of Parliament from the Nashik parliamentary constituency. On 14 November 1966, he was appointed Home Minister of India by Prime Minister, Indira Gandhi. Yeshwantrao came in for criticism at the time of the first Congress split in 1969. He had stuck to his earlier commitment to vote for the official Congress candidate, Sanjeeva Reddy in the presidential elections and in doing so, had invited the ire of Mrs. Indira Gandhi, but later be shifted his ground and supported her. In doing so, he exposed himself to the charge of duplicity and a being a fence-sitter. According to Hatalkar, it might be said in his favor that he had nothing in common with the syndicate faction of the Congress party but was fully in rapport with Mrs. Gandhi's views, if not her methods, that his prime anxiety was to maintain the unity of the Congress, but that when he found that the split was inevitable, he did not succumb to the blandishments held out before him by some members of the syndicate. On 26 June 1970, she appointed him the Finance Minister of India. During his term, Indian economy went into recession for the first time since 1966 and real GDP growth fell by 0.55% in 1972. He was appointed as the Foreign Minister on of October 1974. In June 1975, an internal state of emergency was declared in India by the Indira Gandhi government. This period saw a severe crackdown on leaders and parties opposed to Mrs. Gandhi's rule. Yashwantrao remained in her government during this period. In the subsequent general elections 1977, the Congress was routed with the party leader and Prime Minister, Indira Gandhi herself losing her parliamentary seat. Therefore in the new parliament, Chavan was elected the Congress party parliamentary leader. As Congress now the biggest opposition party, he became the leader of opposition. Split in Congress At the end of 1978, at its annual session in Bengaluru, the Congress split into two namely, Congress Indira and Congress Ors. The important leaders who joined the Congress Ors were Devaraj Ors, Devkant Barua, Kasu Brahmananda Reddy, A.K. Antony, Sharad Pawar, Sarat Chandra Sinha, Priyaranhan Das Munshi and Yashwantrao Chavan. On the other side, Indira Gandhi established her own party called Congress I, and it included leaders like Shankar Dayal Sharma, Umashankar Dixit, Kamruddin Ali Ahmad, Chidambaram Sebramaniam, Barrister A. R. Antule and Gulabrao Patil. Yashwantrao Chavan's political career suffered a major setback following his decision to move away from Indira Gandhi. Congress Ors disintegrated and Devaraj Ors himself joined the Janata Party and Congress Ors was renamed the Indian Congress Socialist. Yeshwantrao was appointed as Home Minister and Deputy Prime Minister of India in the short-lived cabinet of Prime Minister Sharan Singh in 1979. In the general elections of January 1980, Congress I won a majority in Parliament and came to power under the leadership of Indira Gandhi. In this election, Yashwantrao Chavan was the only candidate elected from Maharashtra as MP on a Congress S ticket. In 1981, Yashwantrao was admitted to Congress I after a six-month wait. Critics at that time commented that the fence sitter has come home to roost. In 1982, he was appointed the chairman of the Eighth Finance Commission of India. Topic: <laughs> Public office positions held. Death and legacy Yashwantrao Chavan died of a heart attack on 25 November 1984 in Delhi. He was 71. He was cremated in Karad with full state honours on 27 November and his samadhi resting place is situated at Krishna Koina Pritisangam. Yashwantrao Chavan Pratishtan Foundation. In 1985, soon after his death, Yashwantrao Chavan Pratishtan Foundation was established in Mumbai. 
In 2010, the Pratishtan instituted a corpus at the Institute for Defence Studies and Analyses (IDSA) for the conduct of an annual Y. B. Chavan Memorial Lecture. Yashwantrao was the founding president of IDSA. The inaugural lecture in 2010 was delivered by Professor Sunil Kilnani. Professor Kanti Bajpai, and Ambassador Kanwal Sibyl delivered the 2011 and 2012 lectures respectively. <laughs> Places named after Yashwantrao Chavan In 1980, Ujjani backwater named Yeshwant Sagar on Bhima River village Ujjani in Solapur district. In 1984, an engineering college named Yeshwantrao Chavan College of Engineering was established in Nagpur. In 1989, an open university named Yashwantrao Chavan Maharashtra Open University was established at Nasik in Maharashtra. The expressway between Pune and Mumbai is named after him as are the auditoriums in the Kothrud suburb of Pune, at Nariman Point in Mumbai and the Town Hall in Karad. Yashwantrao Chavan Memorial Hospital in San Tukaram Nagar area of Pimpri is named after him. Shivaji University, Kolhapur has established Yashwantrao Chavan School of Rural Development. In 2009, the Mumbai Pune Expressway, India's first expressway, was named Yashwantrao Chavan Mumbai Pune Expressway. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Literature. Yashwantrao Chavan took a keen interest in literature. He established the Marathi Sahitya Mandal and supported the Marathi Sahitya Sammelan conference. He was very closely associated with many poets, editors and several Marathi and Hindi writers. He initiated compilation of Marathi Vishwakish, a Marathi language encyclopedia. For this, he nominated Lakshman Shastri Joshi as a chairman. He had planned to write his autobiography in three parts. The first part covers his early years in Satara district. Since his native place is situated on the banks of Krishna River he named the first volume as Krishna Kath. His years as the chief minister of the bilingual Bombay state and later as that of the newly formed Maharashtra state were spent in Mumbai and so the proposed name for the second volume was Sagar Tir. Later in 1962 he was appointed defence minister of India by Nehru. From then he was in Delhi until his death in 1984, so he had proposed the name Yamuna Kath for his third volume. He was able to complete and publish only the first volume. Topic. Trivia Yashwantrao Chavan holds the record of being the only Marathi leader who held the four most important portfolios in the Union government. They are home, external affairs, defense and finance. He ably discharged his duties as the minister of the concerned ministries. When Yashwantrao was appointed federal defense minister following the China War in 1962, a popular saying arose in Maharashtra. Himalayasya Hakela Davala Sayadri. Himalayasya Hakela Davala Sayadri. Translated in English, Sayadri, the mountain range that separates Konkan from the Deccan Plateau, came rushing on the call for help by the Himalaya. During the 1960s and early 70s, when Yashwantrao was at the peak of his power and influence, he was called Priti Shivaji or New Shivaji. External links Yashwantrao Chavan Pradeshthan, Mumbai